five right now. Five. You were up to a nine or ten before, yeah, if correct? I it, if I do any walking, it's an eight or nine. Okay. Right leg is only an inch short this time compared to what you were when you first came in. Hi, I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic, and I have Ken here who is had some pretty severe misalignment in the spine with some sciatic or what we call radicular pain uh, coming from the right SI joint, but also has a good amount mild degeneration in through the disc area at four or five area, and this can affect the nerves that are communicating to the muscles and through the pelvis and through the legs here. And so we took a break for a few days and I would say he doesn't look worse. We've had about a good four or five treatments. It has helped him, a uh, pretty tough area. He's a truck driver and guess what? He had a whole fall uh, out of the rig and hurt that area. And it's been like that, kind of laid dormant for a while and so um, I've seen so far with his treatments changes in his posture, his ability to move, but he's still in that acute subacute stage right now. So we're going to do some more work. And uh, the big thing I want you to see today um, is how the leg muscles are not communicating with, or the nerves are not communicating with the muscles as much by having them do this simple motion. Go ahead, raise this leg back down. Okay, so that's at least 50% improvement. He was not able to even raise that leg up at all. Go ahead, raise the other one. And you see how that one even adjusted his uh, left hip there. Did your hip release? Was that you? It, it cracked. Yeah. Not the right way. So now you're going to make me realign that too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So even on the x-ray, I'm looking at the triangle shaped bone here in the pelvis and that bone is actually tipped and you can see it quite a bit on the x-ray of his. So I'm going to actually adjust to the side here. It's been a few days and he's been active with uh, some family. Raise the right leg for me. Okay, back down. Actually a little bit worse. Is that painful right there? Right there in that. Okay, so we have the piriformis muscle right there. And he said he feels like if I adjust this hip almost into place like this, he would feel a lot better. So we're going to do that as well. So I'm actually adjusting the piriformis muscle on him. You okay? Go ahead, raise this leg for me, back down. Lay on this side, face me. Nice movement face down for me. So I keep testing that area of the low back. Mainly it's a sacrum. Go ahead, raise that right leg when you're ready. Back down, left leg, back down. We're going to do a traction on that lower back, open up the joint. We're actually going to bring the leg crossover. That's going to open up the joint even more. what's called the SOT block on there to help reposition that area. When people are so misaligned in there, there's only so much 
a chiropractor can do to make those changes in there. And sometimes you have to help them adapt to that change over time. So um, when that area is like more of a, I would say this is a chronic condition at this point based on all the information we've had. You all right? That's pretty tender. Yeah, we didn't even get to L5 yet. Can you feel the stretch in the pole on here when I have you in this position? Ken? Is that too much? You're tol it's tolerable? You can handle it? We're working on Ken and uh, having a little bit of humor during this. It's kind of tough. When you're in pain, you don't have a lot of laughter going on. So, But I think he's got a funny side to him there. We just haven't found it quite yet. Take a real deep breath all the way in. Release it out. Working the piriformis, it's a trigger point in that area. Glad I'm not down by his feet because he'd probably kick me like a horse. Oh. people come in in pain this much I mean everything hurts every test is almost po uh, positive that you do with them but somehow you have to continue to work with the patient and work through that even when they bring in some really tough tough areas to adjust in the treat cross that, that. go ahead raise this leg again for me back down other one for me, Ken, and back down. And let's have you lay on your back if you could. Now he's able to move. Uh, so here's one of the things, he can rotate on the table a lot easier. That doesn't mean he's not without pain, but he wasn't even able, barely able to turn. I mean, he was like maybe moving 10%, uh, right? You weren't even able to turn when you first started. That have help. Yep. We're going to put you on the spit, rotate you. the girls okay so push into me 10% of your strength hold that hold that hold that and slowly relax were you able to stretch it this weekend oh, yeah. yeah his leg wasn't even coming up this far this is at a we're close we're about 70 degrees so I feel it tight right about there but he wasn't able to do this we were down here when he first started last week it was pulling in through there so Obviously that nerve, this is actually a test to see if it stretches that nerve and it's stretching it right, right in the, is that, you want me to keep it straight? Yeah. Okay. Talking too All much, right. sorry about right. that. Right. Push into me, I'll right. back down. Hold, 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 relax. Okay, we'll go to the other side. We'll give that one a break. So hamstrings were extremely tight push into me and relax push into me and relax 
Yeah, but it was still much better. We're getting closer to that range here, just at the 70 degree mark. Normal is about 90. This one's definitely affected through there, so. Push into me 10% of your strength. Push and hold, push and hold, push and hold, push and hold, and relax. Good, we won't go any more than that. Good job. You did great. All right, so we're still buttoned up against that just a little bit past 70, I'd say closer to 80. We're not quite at the 90 because the leg is starting to buckle right here. Let's have you lay on this side. Face me, Ken. Hold on. There you go. Bend the top knee. Good. You all right? So this is what you're gonna do on the edge of your bed. If you can let this area traction like this, let it go off like that. Can you feel the stretch there? So you'll make sure that this shoulder goes back a little bit more and that'll help start opening this up. There it is. You feel the release? Yeah. Wow, what a lot of work to get to this point. The reason being because sometimes that body is so locked up into that position, it's there for so long. It's kind of like I equate to being a, a rusty bolt. You gotta use some really hard stuff to remove that. And it, maybe we should have poured some Coke on you or something. <laughs> All right, face down again. That stuff will eat anything. You're not drinking Coke, are you? No. Okay, good. Water, use. Good. No Gatorade? No. All right. Mostly water. Good job. Raise your right leg. Yeah. So we definitely got more movement in there. Is this less in here? A little less. A little bit less. You lift the pelvis up for me. I'm gonna place a little more, a little more. There you go, back down. Good. Does that give you a little relief when I do that? Yeah, a little bit. All right, bend this knee, bring this leg out like that. I want you to lay like that. So now we're just helping them position that pelvic bone backward, getting that sacrum to move over a little bit. Uh, these are some passive techniques, but the chiropractor knows how to adjust in the right direction, and that's what we're looking at. It's not just you can go and do this stuff on your own and figure it out. How you doing there? You okay? All right. All right, we're going to let them uh, preheat and, or actually cook for a little bit, put them on simmer for a little bit. I hope you enjoyed watching some of this. He's got, I'm going to do some more work on him. Um, We'll get out the massager in here while he's in that position. So we're going to work some of the deep fascia and tissue around the hip area. see by the some of the videos that I've done that everyone's at a different point in time and you may notice that some adjustments are a little quicker and easier when you have people come in that are acute or chronic like this uh, you take a little more time and you know, a lot more work uh, to get them back on path you okay there Ken
Take a few deep breaths down here. All right, we're gonna let them simmer for a while. I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have SI pain or sciatic pain, this is something that we can work with to help you out, even low back pain. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.